Mindfulness meditation is becoming increasingly popular in Australia. It's practised by many celebrities and encouraged by a growing number of powerful companies. But what might it actually do for you? Can meditation change your body or alter your mind or even make you healthier? What does science say about meditation? So what's happening to your mind and your body when you meditate? Well, broadly speaking, with something like mindfulness meditation, you're training yourself to focus in on the present moment. Sometimes by focusing in on specific physical sensations like your breathing. So get out of the standard cycles of everyday thinking. It's been shown that this process can lower your heart rate and your breathing and even alter your brain waves. A 2011 study led by Harvard University showed eight weeks of meditation can change the physical structure of the brain. The researchers looked at grey matter, the darker tissue of the brain where most nerve cell bodies are found. And they saw grey matter increases in the hippocampus, posterior cingular cortex, cerebellum and temporoparietal junction. Another 2014 meta-analysis found eight regions of the brain were consistently altered in regular meditators. Many of these regions have connections to things like memory, focus, learning and mood regulation. Meditation might also be better than napping in terms of increasing performance. A small study at the University of Kentucky tested alertness in a handful of students after napping, watching TV and meditation over a number of weeks. They made the subjects skip a night of sleep and then tested which of the three options left them more focused. And the researchers said the students scored highest after meditation. <laughs> Do you meditate? Uh, yeah, I used to do a lot of it in school and stuff, especially during HSC. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> no, not a, sorry. I do have a mindfulness app. It's about the extent of it at the moment, yeah. I usually meditate um, before I play my sports to make sure that I'm really ready mentally, psychologically, yeah. Can, can you show us how to do it? Show, show you. Yeah. Um, I'll take a deep breath and then, like... Like that, really? Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. Was that good? Yeah. yeah. I was like, I was like, I don't know when to stop. I like looked up for a minute and I was like, I don't know. Researchers have looked at how the practice of mindfulness might affect your mental health. A 2014 meta-analysis of mindfulness meditation indicated that it has a slight to moderate impact on depression and anxiety after eight weeks, with evidence it could help additionally with pain, stress and overall mental health. The study said meditation is no better than some other common treatments for those conditions. But meditation coming in as comparable to medication or exercise is still a fairly solid result. Other researchers remain sceptical of current meditation research and argue that it might not be for everyone, especially those with pre-existing complex mental health problems. Dr Neil Bally from Monash University says there's plenty of evidence now on how meditation can improve mental health. By the time people are 25, a third of people will have experienced um, a mental health issue. Um, these are huge numbers. 50% of people will uh, experience some form of mental illness in their life. Uh, that's one in two, that's half of us. People who practice mindfulness show better mental health than 70% of the population on average. Uh, people with depression and anxiety have even larger gains than that compared to other people with depression and anxiety who don't practice mindfulness. You've also got areas like your amygdala, for example, uh, that is associated with fear response and anxiety, and that seems to be downregulated in the practice of meditation. We're still not quite at that like fine-grained detail of exactly what is going on in the brain. Um, all we've got at the moment is correlates of processes uh, in terms of being able to tell what mindfulness is doing. So can meditation change our brains? Yes, up to eight regions of the brain can be physically altered in practice meditators. And that in turn can lead to changes in how our brains work. Can it make us healthier? In terms of mental health, it seems like it can, which can have downstream effects on other parts of our health. But most scientists say more rigorous studies are needed with more replications over longer timeframes. Others still have argued that there might be a bias in current meditation studies because the research tends to focus on the positive effects without looking at the potential negative outcomes. It should be said that it might not be for everyone, but I'm gonna go try and get my Zen on.